Let's see. There we go. Okay, we're going to start. Hi, everybody, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Patty White Eye, and this is the Global Business Social. We do this every Sunday night at nine o'clock Eastern, and we are so excited that you have taken some time out of your night to join us to learn a little bit more about what we do and um, to see if this is a fit for you. We do have a draw tonight. So we are giving away, I actually have them here because I was taking some pictures. We have our Berry Refined Scrub and our Night Haven Overnight Age Control Cream. Both are absolutely phenomenal. So if you are a guest with us tonight, can you please find the chat? It's at the bottom and just drop your name in the chat and say that you're a guest and you can maybe put who you're a guest of. Hi guys, I see you. Oh, I wasn't even looking at the chat. Hi everybody. Um, so yeah, if you could just let us know who you are a guest of. And um, as people come in, if you're a market partner here and you notice that your guest is coming on late, if you don't mind dropping their name in the list and we'll do the draw after. So I get the absolute pleasure to introduce you to um, one of my dear, dear friends and somebody who I think is gonna inspire you so much tonight, Jamie Eldridge. Jamie is an Associate Executive Director with Monet. She's been with the company for just over three years. She has two beautiful girls. She's retired from her serving job. She lives in a little town in Ontario called Perry Sound. And um, I have to tell you a little bit about Jamie, my personal connection with Jamie. So. When I first started this business almost exactly three years ago, I'm just like three years and a week into it, um, I did not know anything about social media. I had Facebook, but I had a very tiny number of people on Facebook and I had never really posted a ton of stuff, like every now and then pictures of the kids and you know, I just didn't understand the power of social media. But I saw Jamie, and the stuff she was posting was so inspiring. Like every single day I would see her post something and I would just be like, oh, I love that. That's so cool. And I actually reached out to her and I said, hey, I love your style. Do you mind if I like kind of learn from you and follow from you? And of course she was generous and said, absolutely. And um, she's just a absolute light. So I'm going to turn it over to her right now. Go ahead, Jane. Well, that was quite the introduction. You guys make me cry already. I haven't even said anything yet. Like Patty said, my name is Jamie and I'm an Associate Executive Director. Um, I still love saying that because I finally hit Director of June of last year. Um, to say this has been a whirlwind, um, being part of this company is an understatement. So I was with a company prior to Monet, but I did not have any success with it. So when this was brought to me in August, 2017, I was very skeptical. Um, like she's, Patty said, I'm a single mom of two girls. Um, I've been divorced for, I don't know, seven years. My husband, ex-husband and I are very good friends still, thankfully. But being divorced meant that I need to now start over. Um, I have a mortgage, I need to raise two kids. Um, I have no college um, background because I, even though I went to school twice, um, I could not for life for me decide what I wanted to do with my life. So that weighed on my shoulders every day, all through my 20s and 30s. And the only thing I could go back to was waitressing because it was somewhat flexible um, having two kids and tips are very good living in a seasonal town with less than about 6,500 people, winters are very slow here. So you don't make as much money. So there were times, you know, the winter before I started this business where I had to choose between, you know, paying my hydro bill or buying groceries for the three of us. <clears throat> so needless to say, our hydro bill got cut off more than once. Um, but hey, that's part of my story. So I look at it like that now and uh, we are stronger, the three of us, because of it. Um, so I worked evenings because that's where you make the most money. So the summers were great because I had my kids all day long. So we would boat and swim and just enjoy our days. And then every day about 4.30, I had to go back to the dock, get ready for work. And then they'd be in bed when I got home, which was a fine schedule for us then. But when September rolled around and my kids were in school all day and then they'd come home and I'd have to leave, 
that's when things really got um, challenging and sad. And I realized that this wasn't fun anymore. Um, Charlotte was younger, so she hated me going to work. She'd cry at the window when I left to, to get into a cab because I didn't have a, a license then. So I always had to take a cab everywhere. My oldest that September started um, struggling with anxiety and depression, which was something I was not aware of because again, it came out at nighttime and I wasn't there. So I didn't see these struggles. <sighs> That's the part that kills me. <laughs> oh, okay, but thank you. Um, so that's when I really had to look at my life, look at her life and say, I need to do something. So I messaged Stacy back and I said, I'm done sitting on this. I love the products. So they're already using them. I said, I'm in, I am all in. Show me what to do. We were still so new that she didn't even know what we were supposed to do. So we were just, we just jumped in and ran with our, like our heads were cut off and I got my first paycheck and it was four figures. And I thought, my God, if I can do that again, like next month and it'd be a little bit more, I'm gonna, I can see myself quitting my job. Um, I'm happy to say December 9th of that, like three months later, I was able to quit my serving job. I had been a server since, I, I've been in the hotel and restaurant industry since I was 13. So, to be able to close that chapter of my life was such a blessing. Um, my kids were so happy and, wow, I've told the story so many times and it still kills me to this day. It's been three years, oh my God. But Olivia is back to normal now. And I think it's because she had me present for those terrible nights that she needed me. So that was good. Everything was fine. Everything's been great ever since. So two months after that, I was able to um, hit my Cadillac rank, which someone that's never been able to drive because I have epilepsy, that was just like, like, how is this my life? You know what I mean? Like I'm divorced. I have no education. I'm epileptic. have never been able to drive before. Now I'm paying my bills in my house that I pay for. My kids are home with me. I no longer work. I have a Cadillac. I'm blessed because I have all these beautiful people in my life now that I never would have had. Like Patty. <laughs> I've only met her a handful of times, believe it or not. And I love the woman. This is just what our company does. It's what it's all about. And it's changed me in ways that clearly I'm still a sappy person. That has not changed at all. That's just who I am through and through. I've been doing these calls for over three years and I still get nervous. My hand, I'm, so I'm playing with this because I'm trying to distract myself a little bit. I still cry all the time, but my confidence level and being able to watch my growth over these three years and become this person that I had no idea I could even be. Um, my kids, oh, they're just so incredible. Um, it's weird because I have no regrets ever struggling. Because, oh my goodness, they are so proud of me. And now I have raised them, oh my goodness, to know that they can do anything they put their mind to. And I never had that prior to 1-8. I didn't know if I was coming or going, what bills could get paid but we were happy. And now that this company has given us so much more, not only are we healthy and happy and 
we live well and we can go on trips. Well, not right now because of COVID, but we traveled many times together as a family because this company has allowed us to do that. I've been able to travel so many times with these beautiful people on here um, through the company. I've met the best people, I have the best friends. And this is what this company does. I'm just so mind blown. I get rambling after a little while because I just, I'm just in such awe of the Urdaneta family who started this. You know, every single one of you that are on here, whether you're a market partner or, you know, you're thinking about it, I'm telling you, it is the best decision I've ever done in my life. Um, not only for me, but for my two beautiful girls. And now I get to watch women on my team achieve their goals and drive their cars. And it's such a gift. And that's all I have to say. Jamie, I just love you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Absolutely. Okay. So first of all, just because I'm curious, do you know how many cars are on your team, including yours? There's six of us. Six of you driving cars in three years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that people think about when they get into a company like this is that um, things like cars and trips are so out of reach. What do you have to say about that? What can you tell us about that for someone who's thinking about it? Well, I mean, I was that person too, right? I, I thought there's no way how am little old me going to earn a trip or a car or whatever, a small town girl, you know, not a lot of support where I live. Like I live in a small town, you guys, like everybody knows everybody. I'm like, there's no way I'm going to be able to be successful at this business. But when I joined in October, I qualified for my first trip in no that November and it was a Bermuda cruise for that next um, April. So we went on our first Bermuda cruise Monate trip and it was magical. Amazing. That's so cool. So it's achievable, right? Like the, the thing about Monate is that they make these things so that you can get there and we have the support to get us there and the tools. Okay. So my other question for you is this, what about the person who's shy and has no confidence, like really wants to do it? I know that's why I need you to that's talk about how me. you, how, what helped you get to the point where you could put yourself out there? Like, what are all the tools you had and how, tell us how to do that. It's funny because I was on a call prior to this one and I was saying that, you know, all my life I was a follower at high, in high school, um, you know, I never made the plans. I was always just the one that kind of tagged along. Um, and that's just who I was. I've always been that way. I'm not one to ever, you know, never make decisions. I'm very, very shy and until you get to know, until I get to know somebody. Um, so that was one thing that kind of scared me at the beginning too. I'm like, how am I going to be successful in this if I can't even, my first live I did the day I quit my job, took me an hour and a half to press start because I was so shy and so scared, so scared what people would think of me, um, what they would say about me starting a business, worried about, you know, them thinking I wouldn't be successful. Like all those thoughts go through your head. And then one day I was just like, oh my gosh, I need to just stop and think, you know, what if this does work? What if I can give my kids this life? What if I can? And that's what I really had to start focusing on. I'm not saying it was easy. There was a lot of naysayers, you know, there always is no matter what you do in life. Um, but I chose to turn off the noise I block it out and I just worked on it every single day I started you know digging deep within myself and um, being proud of myself for every single little thing I did if I did a post on Facebook that was kind of like nothing something I was used to I definitely applauded myself for it because that's one step out of your comfort zone that you need to start taking even if it's scary it's just the little steps just here and there like a Facebook post you know, and then you get that down and you can do like a story and then you can do a live. And then, you know, before you know it, it just becomes like second nature and it's just your life. It just, it's just what you do and it becomes very rewarding. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to turn it over to Brittany, but I just have to say one thing, you guys, 
I have to tell you one more thing about Jamie. So when I first started and she hit Market Mentor, what month was it, Jamie, that you hit? January, January. 2018. Yeah. That was the month that I started. That was the month I started. And on our team, you see, we get these little necklaces from our upline um, when you hit Market Mentor. And I remember Jamie went live and she opened up her little Tiffany necklace. And I was like, I want that necklace. I, I didn't even know that there was a car at that level, but I was just like, I want that necklace. I wanna do what she's doing. She was such a light for me. She was like the first person that I just, I just watched you have success and it just completely fired me up. So you guys don't know who you're inspiring. You just, you just never know. Somebody could be watching you and just, so thank you, my dear. Thank you so much. Thank you, Patty. <laughs> um, I am going to ask Brittany. I don't know if she's, I can't, sorry, my dog's talking. I'm going to turn my Yes, mic. I'm here. Okay. Brittany, Brittany Cleveland is my partner in crime and she is an absolute rock star at this business. My goodness, she's <laughs> blowing this thing up so fast. She's going to talk, you guys. Just listen. She's way better at this than I am. She's got so much wisdom. So take it away, Britt. Um, yeah, so I think I just want to, you know, I don't want to take too much time here because we want to keep it at 20 minutes for everyone. Um, but my thing is, you know, people tell me all the time, you know what, Brittany, like I should have joined you a long time ago. Like I can't do it now. You know, that's a, what I hear a lot. I don't know if you guys hear that a lot or if anyone feels that way, but this is a thing that since March, and I know a lot of leaders on this uh, team right here, their business grew by a lot during COVID um, because more people are shopping online, you guys. Um, so I just wanna give you tips on why you should just consider um, doing this business, okay? Um, no pressure at all, totally up to you guys. We're not gonna make you guys do anything, but these are just things that you might wanna know um, when you are making that decision. So number one, um, people are doing more online shopping. People are becoming more educated on the products that they're using. Um, oh yeah, I think someone's background noise. Okay. So, um, people are becoming more educated on the products that they're using. Um, also our products come with a 30 day money back guarantee. So it's completely guaranteed that you're going to love it. Um, and we have less than a 1% return rate. So, um, I mean, right now we are all using social media. Um, I mean, almost uh, probably all of us, right? And we're surfing, we're posting, we're doing, we're basically doing like free advertising to everybody and, um, but we're not getting paid for it. Right. So it's like, it's kind of like a no brainer. It's like, okay, how about you just try the shampoo? Okay. That's how you could support me. Just try the shampoo. Um, it, this is what you could expect from it. You know, hair growth, um, increased hair growth, less hair falling out, healthy hair. There's so many things that you could get from just switching your shampoo. And then you're going to get amazing results and just share your own results. You know, that's all we're doing. We do not, we're not salespeople. We just share something that worked for our hair or our skin or the wellness, you know? Um, so that is all we're doing and we're getting paid for it. I'm retired. I'm 34 and um, yeah, it's just been amazing journey for me as well. Single parent um, and my main job, Patty's main job, our main job is this, getting people to dream bigger, number one. And then number two, it is not selling shampoo. Number two, it is believing in people before they believe in themselves. That is our job. That is our purpose. That is our passion. And, um, you know, if we could help anybody do that, then we are winning, even if it's one person. Awesome. Thanks, Britt. That was amazing. All right. We are going to do the draw. Um, if you have not put your name in the chat yet, then go ahead and do it if you're a guest, okay? And I think Robin is on here. She's going to actually spin the wheel for us. So I don't see. There she is. Um, do you have all the names, Robin? 
um i have i believe I'll, unless people still need to enter their names i just had one clarification i needed heather from calgary are you a guest or a market partner it just wasn't clear in the chat where's heather hello can you all i need oh yeah do you want to type that in the chat or unmute yeah. heather Oh, happy. Okay. okay. Perfect. Okay, we're going to do the draw. So we're drawing, we're going to draw first for the berry scrub. And right. once we figure out who's winning, you guys, I, I didn't say this last week, so I might have forgotten to tell you, you have to tell your market partner to get a hold of us. So either me or Brittany or Robin, if you can um, ask them to get a hold of us to give us your address so we can get this to you. Okay. Oh, so wait. now, okay. I know, I've added Linda now. Okay. Um, oh, thanks, Stacy. Um, and uh, okay, so we've still got people um, adding themselves in here. So, okay. Esmeralda, are you an MP or a um, or a guest? Guest. I've added Linda Crow. Okay, well, well, we'll go with what we have now. Yeah. Put, put her on there and then we'll figure yeah. it out after the fact. So, all right. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, the, the draw is just for guests, guys. If you're a market partner, you don't need to put your name in. Okay, it's just for the guests. Okay, all right. So, I've got everybody. Um, I'm going to shuffle a couple of times. I've put everybody's name in my phone. So I've shuffled everybody. Can you see? I am going to spin the wheel. And the first winner is Can you read it, please? Kelly Hamilton. Kelly. Congratulations, Kelly. Okay, so that's for the berry scrub. So now we're drawing for the night haven. Okay. And I'll shuffle another couple of times. And boy, it's slow. Laura Deke. Laura. All righty. Okay, so you guys, I want to say congratulations to the winners and thank you so much for coming. You guys, I have to say a very special thank you to. Um, uh, Jamie for coming. Sorry, Jamie. Gosh, um, really appreciate you taking time out to share with us tonight. I appreciate everybody who came on and thank you to Brittany and Robin and you guys, we do this again next Sunday night. So please feel free to join us. Bring your friends, let them come and hear these amazing stories. You guys, we have next week is going to be so exciting. We have Tony Van Schoik coming next week. So you do not want to miss it. She is like the number one, like she started this whole thing. So get your people on, all right? Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great night.